The prospect of expanded tolling is certainly not new, but it could now be on the fast track given the relative ease of implementation with automated electronic tolling, a system that is already in use on the pike. State Senator Thomas McGee, a Democrat from Lynn, is sponsoring a bill to expand tolling to parts of 93, 95 and Route 2 and begin collecting that new toll revenue by the end of 2018. Drivers we spoke with have mixed opinions. My concern would be how well they're using the gas tax already, like how well the current funds being managed before you start adding a lot more. I don't think that they should be putting more tolls on the highway at all. It's only supposed to be for so long. So now they want to expend it and get more because the state needs more money. Come on. The bill does not specify toll amounts, but does call for rates that are equitable and based on origin and destination of a trip, mileage and type of vehicle. The proposed legislation also calls for implementing dynamic or peak period pricing to reduce congestion and maximize environmental benefits. During a hearing at the state house two days ago, other lawmakers were voicing opposition. Tolls tend to be a regressive means of tax of taxation. That is, it falls on, on the lower income people uh, much more than it does the wealthier citizens. Senator McGee's office called back just a few moments ago saying he is in the state house today. He is available for an interview about this bill that is controversial, but it's a bill that he hopes becomes law and takes effect at the end of next year. Reporting live along Route 128 in Newton, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News 7.